Okay, he's right here. So this is the um, this is the preparation part of the. Uh, the I add this to the preparation part of the KLX 140 top end rebuild log. Um, so basically, what I got going on right now is we gotta transfer the parts from the old head, the old cylinder, to the new cylinder. Um, and basically, that's just this pipe right here. I think that's the only thing that's different. Um, yeah, because we I just did a comparison video, so I'll probably put that video at the end of this link if you guys want to, uh, at the end of this video if you guys want to uh, check that out. It's pretty much the same thing though, so <laughs> so you know spoilers. Um, uh, and the dowels, we gotta move the dowels to the new one, and we gotta take the oil um, take the oil pipe out of this one and put it on this one, and then we got we got a different gasket for things so. So the first thing we're going to do is going to remove this oil pipe. I think, I'm not really sure how it goes in there. It looks like it goes from the bottom. So we got to press it from the top. Okay. Just like that. Out it goes. It's giving me a little resistance. There's the, there's the O-ring. Huh. Okay. This O ring is supposed to be right here. I don't know if we have to change it or not. I don't have another O ring, so I just have to reuse it. Alright, so um, if you look at the book here, I'll try not to touch the book because my hands are really, um, So if you look at the book here, uh, we got the oil pipe, I think is what they call it. Yeah, it's called oil pipe B right here. So that's B. And then A, where is A? Apply grease to O-rings and install as shown. So it's supposed to be installed from the bottom, and there's supposed to be an O-ring on the top, and there's supposed to be O-ring on the bottom, and they all sit on top, on top of this little um, kind of shelf here they made. So we're missing an O-ring. I don't see it in the head. I don't see it in the cylinder. It's probably in the head. So. It's, yeah, it's not there, so I'm about to go look for it. I'll let you know if I find it. <laughs> okay, so there's the cylinder, and it's kind of hard to see, but there's O-ring in there, so I'm going to go fish that out with a, with a pick or something. <laughs> okay, so there's the uh, the head, and I'm just going to, I get this little hooked pick, and we're just going to pick it out. I can probably just stick my fingernail in there, too. Be very careful not to scratch the uh, surfaces because this is aluminum. It scratches very easily. Maybe it's better if I use a screwdriver. But it's in there. There we go. Okay. No ring is out. I'll just make sure I install it the same way. Um, it's got oil on it already, so we don't have to worry about putting the grease on there like it said. We're just going to reuse them. They don't look like they're in bad shape at all. Um, yeah, so this came out like this, so we got to put it on the pipe like that. So I'm going to put it back on the pipe. It does say apply grease to O-rings A and install as shown, but like I said, it's got oil all over it already. Don't worry. Oh, you know what we can do? Let's... Uh, Let's put it on after. So we got like that, right? Okay, so we're gonna put it in the new head. Let me put this camera. Uh, okay, so before we get, we do anything else, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go run a. Uh, yeah, I feel a little bit of material. There's some kind of rust here, so I'm gonna try to try to um, get some of that rust. Off. Okay, this might make a little mess, so I'm gonna have to clean this up later because this makes all these little green flakes. So what I'm gonna do is just scrub this with this scotch Brite pad to get some of that corrosion off of there. It's got to be as flat as possible. Everything else looks okay. Because uh, the, the sleeve is made out of steel or iron or something, something that rusts, so um, the aluminum will not rust. So This has been sitting around for a while, so that's probably why. So I'm just going to clean that up a bit. 
try to keep it out of uh, I try to keep it out of the orifices so the stuff doesn't go down in there you know the holes that's what I'm talking about the holes Maybe you want to clean up some of the surface a little bit too and we're gonna have to put oil on all this stuff too later when we actually install it let's make sure it's smooth that looks that looks a lot better I can still feel some stuff right here though so I'm gonna work this a little harder that way we get a nice good seal okay that feels pretty good it's pretty gritty now because all that crap came off of it um, okay, so that looks good enough for Hades Omega. It's Hades Omega spec, so as to say, uh, maybe we want to, uh, yeah, maybe we want to do this a little bit too. It feels, it doesn't feel so flat there. I'll we'll have to make sure we get the, the air gun and blow out all these bits. It's coming out. It's, it can't be good for the bearings and stuff, you know. We want to make sure we clean all the gasket surfaces. So, I'll feel this right now. It feels fine. Yeah, that's flat, dude. So, from around here, there's some like scratches and stuff. I'm gonna sand this a little bit. Alright, that should be good. So, I'm gonna go get a air gun and blow out all that crap. Because there's a lot of, there's some, you know, this is some, those particles from this. Okay, I got my safety glasses on and uh, I'm going to go blow some stuff out of this. Just who knows where I got it. So I'm just gonna double check if there's any kind of debris on it still. Oh yeah, the, the bore. You can feel it sticking to the bore. No bueno. Like I'm sure a oil filter will probably take that and you know, clean it, but yeah, it's stuck. It's stuck to the bore. Let's make sure I wipe it. See, there's some green stuff on my finger. So I think what we should do. Let's go get uh, let's, let's um, I'll go and go wet this uh, this tissue and then uh, and then we're just gonna wipe the bore and then that should be good. So I say wet it so uh, so like it helps pick up that stuff. So I'm just gonna wipe the bore down with some water. There's some kind of rust coming off of it too. It looks like it looks like a cylinder started rust already. Yeah, I'm gonna go turn it over to the, um, the more dry side, and we're gonna wipe it one more time. Just gonna make sure all those dusts and stuff are not there. The water may make it rust again, so that's okay, man. As long as, long as there's no like. Um, gouges and stuff, you know, or like etching, you're, you'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna run my finger in there real quick. Pretty clean. Pretty clean and smooth. Okay, now I don't know if we have to hone this. That's a good question. Do you think that looks honed? I think it does look honed. It's, but I would think the cross hatching would be more than that. Hmm, that's a good question. I wonder if we have to hone that. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is wipe the cylinder down with some oil real quick, just to, to kind of to clean it a little more and to, and to put some lube on the cylinder wall so it doesn't rust. I have my handy dandy bottle of uh, motor oil here. I'm just going to put it on my tissue here. A little bit of oil. And I'm just going to run that down the cylinder. Try to get all that rust out of there, you know. Actually, what I heard you should do is continue, keep on cleaning the cylinder until you don't see any kind of dirt come out. So I can see some dirt coming out. So we'll just keep on cleaning it until it comes out clean. This has been sitting around for a while, so it's probably a little bit small, thin layer of rust on it. You know? So I'm just going to keep on folding it until I get clean, uh, until we get clean uh, cloth. Okay, I think that should be fine. Um, I cleaned it about maybe like five, five or six times. That should be okay. It's better than it was before. Um, so now what I'm going to want to do is uh, wipe the surfaces down, the gasket surfaces. I got any kind of oil on there. So you want that to be super clean. Maybe I want to blow it with some air one more time just to get some of that particles out of there. Okay, that so final there. part of the preparation. We're going to go stick this oil thingy back in the hole. Some kind of grease on it. Okay, so it goes through here. Put it up through the hole right here. Press it in. It should have oil on it already, so I think it will be should go on nicely. I hope. Okay, there we go. Okay. It's in there. And then here's the O-ring from last time. From uh, from the cylinder to, uh, that we fished out. We're gonna put that on top here. Okay, so the oil pipe is, is done. And then it says apply some kind of molybdenum oil to the bore. Um, we just use motor oil. Um, and it says install the cylinder. So, um, But we're just prepping the cylinder in this video. So the last thing to move from the other cylinder to the new one are the dowels. I'm going to remove that. It looks pretty clean. I just want to wipe it down a little bit. Okay. That's going to go on the bottom of the cylinder. So go. Um, so at the bottom of the cylinder, there's. Um, for the cylinder, there are two on the side here. For the head, it's out. They're actually diagonal. So, go ahead and put that dowel pin back in. Freaking oil pipe popped out. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go get the other other dealy here. I'm go wipe that down real quick. In case some kind of dirt got in there. I think that's that molybdenum grease. Yeah, that's what that grease is. Okay, now we're just gonna put that, put that over here. Okay, that went in a little too easy. Like it's gonna come out really easy. 
The other one was not that easy to get in though. Let's try, let's try swapping them. That one's stuck in there. That one just really is loose like that. Okay, just make sure you don't lose that. <laughs> um, yeah, that may fall in. So, what we may want to do is put that on the uh, put that on the on the block because it may fall down. So let's maybe we'll put them both on the block. <laughs> just make sure you don't lose them. Okay, so we're gonna put. I'm gonna try to put this uh, freaking. Uh, pipe back in. Okay. Okay, and um, yeah, dude. If it was, if it stayed in there, it would be okay. But it's not. It's it's falling out, and I don't want it to fall out when we put the cylinder on. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take these out. And we're gonna put them on the block instead. Or not. Anyway, this one seems like it wants to stay in there, so we'll just uh, we'll um, we'll put this one in the block. Okay, so for now, I put the uh, I put the pin in the block, and um, and the other one is in the cylinder. So I'm gonna see if I can get that one out later. Maybe I could just use uh, like a plier or something. Um, but we still need to clean this gasket surface. It's still this gasket surface is not clean, so we need to clean that. Um, and that'll that'll be another video for, for the preparation. Um, but we're just working on the cylinder for now. But anyway, I put this right here so we don't lose it. Uh, but we're going to have to take it out to clean the gasket. So, all right. So we're done. We're done with the cylinder. Hooray! So, what did we do? We, um... We cleaned the gasket surfaces, the sealing surfaces, um, with a scotch brite pad to get any kind of, you know, corrosion that's built up on it or, or some kind of dirt on it. Um, and then we cleaned the cylinder. And then uh, we moved the oil pipe from the stock head to the new one. And we made sure we had the O rings. So remember, one of the O rings was in the cylinder head. So I fished that one out, and we put the oil pop in this one, and then uh, then we put the cylinder in here. I don't know why this why is this not why is this not level. Hopefully it goes into the cylinder fine. Okay, so yeah, that should be it. Um, so now it's clean. It's ready to be put on. Um, I'm probably gonna take I'm probably gonna take that dowel out dowel pin, and put it in the block. So. Um, yeah, I well, you know what, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's really, it's on there, so that's fine. Just make sure it's not, just make sure, like, you don't have two of them in one place. I made sure and double-checked. Uh, so the one, the pin that's in there is the one where the, uh, the chain tensioner goes in. So I made sure it was on the other side, so, so yeah. So I'm just going to leave it like that. That's ready to go. Uh, I'm just going to put it, put it back in the box. Um, it's got oil around the cylinders and stuff, so shouldn't rust hopefully all right so uh, the cylinder is prepped and ready for install um, but we still got a couple other things left to do um, we've got to clean the head yeah we got to clean the head and I'm actually gonna go do some important polishing on this so that'll be a separate video um, yeah well, I'll have a separate video on preparing the uh, the head so as you can see the dowel pins are diagonal on this one here uh, and we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the combustion chamber because it looks pretty filthy. That's probably why my compression is so high, maybe. Uh, and then we're gonna do a little a port and polish, clean the gaskets surfaces for new gaskets, and then uh, that should be good. Yeah, and probably yeah we probably want to clean make sure we clean the combustion chamber good, and check the pit um, check the valves for any kind of cracks. I don't think there's any cracks so so yeah. 
but uh, that'll be that'll be the next video. Uh, we'll be prepping that guy, prepping that, and then prepping the block. So, and the, all you got to make sure all the mating surfaces are clean. So, all right. So that is that was the um, KLX 140 big bore uh, cylinder preparation video. I hope you guys uh, hope it helped you guys out. Um, I thought it needed to be honed, but it I looked at it and it does have a cross hatch to it, so I'm not going to hone it. I think it's fine. All right, here's we go. Uh, we're like most of the way. Yeah, I would say we're. I'd say we're halfway through preparation uh, to uh, put the engine back together. All right, here's we go.